I am a bridesmaid in one of my friend's weddings, and she's getting married in like April or May. Um, and her colors are Kentucky blue, and I think she's doing like burlap, which I don't know what color that is, but burlap, you know what it is. Um, but this is the dress. Um, it is blue, and it's the lace top. And I got it at David's Bridal. She picked it out, of course, in the color and everything. Um, I will note that I had to go up a size bigger than I normally wear. Um, this lace, if you are a bride thinking about doing lace top, they don't give at all. Like, this is not elasticy in the slightest. It doesn't give. She wanted short sleeved lace, but we literally could not move our arms. We would have had to go up like three sizes each, and that wasn't working. So, we got the one shoulder. And here is the back. How much did it cost? Um, originally it was $150, but since she bought her dress there, we got $20 off each. Um, and this is gonna sound horrible, but she actually did get her dress there, but they didn't check, like they didn't look up if she got her dress there or not. So we really could have just been like, yeah, she got her dress here and then just gotten $20 off. So But you're honest. But we were honest. <laughs> she, got... she really did get her dress there. Um, it has really nice boning in um, the bust. That way you don't have to wear a bra, so that is nice. And is that just it? Try it not to This is what Ashley made herself for lunch. So that, that's her pasta mount. And Kevin's putting this game together for us because we're gonna play it. This is Maw Madness. It's Maw. Here is the box. I'll have to look at the date to see when we got it. Um, eight billion years ago when I was in like the fifth grade. Yeah, we've had it for a long time. I'll have to look. This goes in our hand. Okay, so this was Vanessa. Yeah. I think Daddy should be Vanessa. This has been out since 2004. This was in the the game, and they're actually advertising this uh, Twister game. And then here's the Mall Madness. That's what it looks like. But they're also advertising this cover to cover. It says the latest flipping magazine. I've never even heard. Um, I've never heard of that. I guess it's cover to cover. It's a game. And I guess you have to have those magazines. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I knocked you off. The that's how they look. Do I owe you any money? Yeah. Sunglasses the music store. store's here. Music's right here. The you are ready. We're ready. And I actually have money left. I have 150. I have 165 dollars left. Kevin, how much money do you have? No, not, not one dime. And Ashley, how much money do you have? 55. 55 dollars. And a food token. Left. I'm green, P.S. I only had three. And I had a lot because I was more <laughs> concerned about taking pictures and for Instagram. Oh, no. <laughs> excuses, excuses <laughs> of a loser. I did really bad. I, I haven't played this game in a while. But congratulations to Ashley. Thank you. Why do your rolls always seem to be better than mine? I think it's the table. It's angled.
I had 255 to 188 and 178. Worst game I've ever played. But like Kevin did. <laughs> That's even with a Yahtzee. And we weren't filming. Kevin got a Yahtzee with all ones. It was amazing. On first first roll. roll. Yeah, it was amazing. He discussed us all. We're getting there though. It's, it's like dodging balls. It's coming. It's, yeah, it's coming. You'd pick two. Ah! Uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Okay. Wait till you see the next one. Ah! Oh. No! She's up there. Oh, she's up there. La, 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 la. Here, it took me 10 minutes to get up to there. I didn't take any shortcuts or anything. I had to walk all that way and then I got sent by back here. I don't care how I got there. I'm just glad I'm here. Here we go. You get two. So you get to, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yay! I won! Yay! Yay. That was so fun. But yeah, but count how many you got. I got one, two, three, eight sets. That's it. I have 14 sets. Yeah. That, that was a really good try on. She comes again. <sighs> Let's go for seconds, Daddy. Me. Yay! I won. Two. I one, won two. for Jeezy. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is this Can't a go. box that we write in? Yes. Today is the sixteenth. I'm gonna write in there. No, go. Yeah. One sixteen. Do you realize how many? Boom! Times? Second place. That was one off. Look. <laughs> oh man. Somebody drew an uh, unhappy face. Tammy won. Ashley was second. One sixteen. I would have been first 16. if it weren't for those meddling kids. Yeah. So Kevin's gonna start working on this metal earth. This is the movie film projector. Andrew got it, to, got it for me because my, my, my name is Movie HQ, so that's what he got me. So a movie projector, movie yeah, projector. to go with Movie HQ. Kevin has another YouTube channel. It's Movie HQ, it's all one word. And on that channel, he does games and stuff, but you also have lectures, right? For digital electronics. Yeah. Right. So. Are, it's funny, these are, um, these are the same thing. These boxes are the same thing you get with the little thin packs. They just put them in a big box. I don't know. I think they're the same price though. Yeah, they sell the. Um, yeah, they're, ten, they're still ten dollars. So. They sell the uh, thin package packets of them at Hallmark. Yeah, it's like just a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. They're... I think it makes them harder to steal if you have them oh, in a box. Yeah. They usually sell this kind of stuff, that, and these are in color too. That's me. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in color. Oh wow. Yeah, that one's actually in a, a color printout. Um, That's nice. Yeah, they're always been in black and white. So uh, I think they sell these at like Barnes and Noble and the, the bookstores and stuff. Which, right. Which is kind of cool. So anyway. So now you're gonna get started. It is 10:52, and are you gonna keep going until you're finished? So we'll see how long it takes you. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I'll take too many breaks or anything. So 10:52, and we'll see how long it takes him. Okay, Kevin finished his project. It took three hours. That's a very detail. I mean, look at all the detail. It is 10 minutes after two, and he, you know when he started. I thought it was like 12. No, you started. 10 till 12. 11.50, right? 
Or was it 10.50? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I bet it was 11.50. Two or three hours. Okay, look at the detail. so two hours. Each one of those you had to roll. That is awesome. I love that. It's pretty cool. Did you post a picture to Instagram? Yeah. Okay. No. That's nice. And I like it. And it has a meaning because Andrew bought it because of your name. So I think that's right. cool. So you haven't even had lunch. So it's snowing again, big flakes. Um, the other day, um, it snowed like last week, but it didn't do anything. It didn't stay on the ground or anything like that. Anytime I look out this window, Chapel wants to, to get up here and look out the window as well. But um, So anyway, I don't think we're supposed to get any accumulation, but I don't know. I think Chapel kind of uh, freaks out at um, seeing stuff falling from the sky. What is this? It's toys, Chapel. Toys. And we're supposed to get more later on in the week. So it looks really pretty. I just wish that um, everybody in the family didn't have to commute. Because <laughs> I do worry. But the roads are fine today. I think it's just later, later on it's supposed to get bad. There's the driveway down there. Kevin will regret not taking me up on my offer to buy him a, um, a leaf blower. Um, my dad used to use the leaf blower to blow the snow off the driveway, and I think it worked really well. So, because um, we don't need, a, I guess, a snow blower. I guess we would need bad weather all the time to warrant spending that kind of money. But we could spend a leaf blow. Uh, we could buy a leaf blower, and then it wouldn't be near as expensive, I guess. Today, Kevin came home and we had a package here from uh, Julia. Julia is in Canada, and let me. See. I have no idea. She told me to expect expect something, but she didn't tell me what it was going to be. She's pulling stuff out of the package. She doesn't want to show the address. Okay. That's why. Okay. You can show it now. I didn't want to show Julia's address or... Oh, wow. I don't know what they are. They're upside down. Oh, wow. Look. Pumpkin cheesecake. Eggnog. Chocolate velvet cheesecake. Oh, my goodness. Are they like a pudding? Chocolate pudding in an instant. Yeah, they're, mi they're mixes. Look at that. It's a mix. Chocolate pudding in an instant. Okay, well, what about the eggnog, the cheesecake? Preheat oven. No, oh, crust. So you can get a graham cracker crust. We're, we're too yeah. lazy to actually make a crust. We just buy a crust. So, <laughs> so this is the filling? Yeah. This is the stuff that goes on the inside? Yeah. So you could buy a graham cracker crust and just yeah. pour this in there. Yeah, or an Oreo crust for that one. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Julia, this is so, this is really cool. I can't wait to uh, to make these. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun, and I'll have to let you all know if it's any good. It's uh, Epicure is the company, so um, so I'll, I'll have to, yeah, we'll have to uh, let you know if uh, what we think of this stuff. This is really cool. Um, she had tried to send me a video on Facebook. She sent me a link to it, and it quit like halfway through. So I wasn't sure what she was wanting me to get out of it. So I guess they were talking about this. So I'll have to look into this a little bit and then uh, we'll be making some videos. So thank you very, very much, Julia. Well, I look awful, I know, don't be alarmed. <laughs> but I figured I would um, vlog a little bit while I'm waiting on my coffee. Um, I've got it on over here and I'm sure you hear the washing machine. It's, um, it's actually Thursday. Um, and normally I, I clean on Wednesday. However, it has been so cold here, and I know a lot of you will not be able to understand this, but it's been so cold that I've just been, we've all been holed up in the bedroom, except for Ashley. Ashley will go up in her room and turn the heater on in her room, but she's been holed up in her room. And I think that um, in these Victorian homes, that's why they're divided, so divided with doors is so that you can heat that one room and go in there um, and actually the kitchen door uh, the kitchen had a door 
uh, to it, but it was taken out years and years ago. Uh, I think um, I, I'm, I like it better without the door just because it doesn't get in the way and because the counter is right there. Uh, years ago, it what when when the door was there, there wasn't a, a counter right here to be in the way. But since we since we did the renovation, you couldn't really have a door there unless it swung out to the hallway, and there's just no point. But it's been so cold. I showed you the snow, and. Um, we are supposed to get more starting tonight at about seven o'clock and it's supposed to go into all day friday and then even some on saturday so if that's the case uh, kevin will not be going to work ashley should not be going to work and i hope she doesn't um but we will probably be in the house so kevin's gonna stop on his way home today he's gonna go to um to Walmart and pick up a couple things like toothpaste and um, then he's gonna go to Kroger probably uh, he's gonna check Walmart and see how much their screaming Sicilian pizzas are we had one last Friday I love that Bessie's Revenge and I know it's so weird to say that I love a plain cheese pizza like that but it's awesome I hope you all can try it. Uh, but anyway, they're on sale this week for $5.99 at Kroger, which is really cheap for those pizzas. So if Walmart has them for that price, he'll get it at Walmart. But if they don't, he'll go to Kroger. And really, he needs to go to Kroger anyway because we need drinks. And drinks are always cheaper at Kroger than they are Walmart. Uh, Walmart, sometimes you'll get to the... Um, the checkout and they'll say oh these are on sale but they never mark them as being on sale back in the back where you pick them up so we never buy drinks at Walmart we always get them at Kroger so so anyway that's what's going on right now um oh I wanted to tell you all because I know just dying to know this uh, um We've had those question and answer things, and one of the questions on there was, "What is your, what is a pet peeve?" And at the time that we answered it, we did it. We were out in the den, and Andrew and Christina are with us. I think we did it for like a holiday, maybe Thanksgiving. I'm not sure. But anyway, I answer time when people are late or something like that, and that's true. But. Uh, I've come up with two more pet peeves. Uh, one of my pet peeves is women who fool with their, or, or guys, or guys, who fool with their hair all the time. Like, um, well, my hair's up. I'll put it down, although it's not long enough to, I know, it's a mess, I look horrible. But some, some girls I've noticed that have really long hair, They'll take it constantly and they'll they'll do like this and, and they of course they have long hair. So they're doing like this and playing with their or just just fooling with it, just like constantly. So that's a pet peeve, just fooling with your hair all the time. And my second pet peeve, which I've had it for a long, long time, but I didn't think of it until I'll tell you why. Um, but the pet peeve is wearing sunglasses indoors. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it when people wear sunglasses indoors. Uh, and the reason that what's got me thinking about it so much is because we're watching Celebrity Big Brother in the UK and um, Gemma Collins wears sunglasses inside all the time. And I, I don't, I think, for, in my opinion, that is her being insecure. She is not being, when she's having a conversation with you, when she's wearing sunglasses, or anybody, for me, it's not a heart-to-heart, -heart honest conversation. I like to see your eyes when I'm talking to you, and as a matter of fact, um, there used to be someone in my family who loved wearing sunglasses all the time. But when I was talking to him, even if we were outside, if we were having a serious discussion, I would say, could you please take your sunglasses off when you're talking to me? Because I like to see your eyes. I can read a lot from somebody's eyes. I'm very, very, very good at reading people. And um, I just, I need to get you face to face. I need to see your eyes. And so when you're wearing sunglasses, to me, you're trying to hide something. And especially when, 
if you're wearing them outside in the sun shining, okay, I get it. But when you're wearing them inside, that's the insecurity on you. So I think Gemma, um, Gemma's definitely um, playing a game in that house. Um, she, I, I do not care for her personality. I would not get along well with her. She likes to stir the pot. She, um, it, it can be a completely happy day. Everybody's in a good mood and she, coffee's ready. She will go behind um, somebody's back to try to get something started. Uh, she's just, she's good at stirring the pot. So anyway, my coffee's ready now. I'm gonna have, look, there's one, there's one more of these cookies in here. These are the caramel and cream. Eric gave me these, and uh, I showed them in my What I Ate Wednesday video, I think. I think I had one yesterday. Anyway, fortunately for me, I still have like three boxes. Yeah, I still have three boxes, because he sent me four, and this is the first one we finished. So, because these are like, I've told you all, these are my favorite cookie on the planet, as you can tell. Once we open them, uh, it, you, you, we just go through them very, very quickly. So, anyway, I'm gonna have one of those with my coffee, and um, if it starts snowing later, I'll show you. Right now, though, it's not doing anything, so it's boring. Uh, but if it does start snowing, I'll show it to you. And um, sorry to bug you with my pet peeves, but. I want to know, I got to thinking, does, in, does that bother anyone else? Does anyone else have that same mentality of the sunglasses indoors, or women fool with their hair? Or, but the, mainly the sunglasses indoors things, do you all feel that way? Do you feel like, like they're trying to hide something, you know? Like they're not being honest with you. And, and how can someone possibly have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you when they're wearing sunglasses and you don't know where they're looking or if their eyes are closed. So anyway, leave it in the comments because I seriously am curious and I will check back in with you later. Okay, Morgan and Chris sent me something, sent us something in the P.O. box and I'm glad uh, that she asked me to check it, that she told me to check it because we don't know when things are coming and the weather's been kind of iffy around here so we've missed days going to check it. Anyway, I've Cut the tape, but I have not opened the box. So here we go. Oh, it's a box in a box. <laughs> a red box in a okay. box. Okay. Yeah. What is this? Are they tennis shoes? <laughs> it says clean blueberry muffin top, I'm eat clean those. protein bars. I don't know if that's what's in here though. Nope. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Congratulations on your new baby done this box is a gift to the dunn family just because from morgan and chris in los angeles california and she sent me a letter and i'm not going to read that out loud i will i'll read it in a minute okay chapstick cake batter oh yum Oh, this literally is like a Christmas gift. I mean, she, look, pumpkin pie. See, I gave some of these away for Christmas, but I never kept any for it. myself. And you know what? I'm thinking I bought the Burt's Bees. Or, I'm not sure, but I don't, I don't have. I don't think you bought that for you. I don't, yeah, I don't have any of that. So thank you very much. Butter toffee fuel snacks. Oh gosh, those look good. Mm -hmm. And I love butter toffee. Look. Woats, Woats oat snack cookies and dreams. They sell Woats somewhere, but I don't. Oh, we've never bought Vanilla them. Vanilla cream sandwich cookies. Uh, that looks awesome. Gosh, that looks good. Really, really good. I can't wait to try these. Okay, Atkins. We've never tried any Atkins bars. Dark chocolate sea salt caramel and dark chocolate peanut butter. Wonder how many calories they have. 170 that's not bad at all 170 and 180 yeah that's not bad at all thai bar chapel made with cr cricket this. made with cricket protein powder is that yeah. like really yes crickets coconut ginger and lime is that like bug crickets yeah seriously yeah ground up i guess why eat crickets Okay, I'm gonna have to read that. 
I'll eat it. I'll try it. I'll have it's an open like mind. It's like cold It's like powdered cricket. Go macro a macro bar. Some people, a lot of people that watch me count their macros and they say that I should do that to be more accurate. I just don't know anything about it. Peanut butter chocolate chip. Oh, Kevin, she sent these Suckers. to you. I just state my last one. Cherry so. cheesecake, pina colada, banana split, and birthday cake. Have you ever had the birthday cake? I don't think cake? I've ever seen birthday cake here. Oh, wow. Thank you. If I have, you. I don't remember. No, I don't think we've ever seen birthday cake. Honey almond rice protein bar. I've never seen that. They may have it. I just have not seen it. Uh, coconut Lily's dark chocolate bar. Stevia sweet. No sugar added. That's a pretty package, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And this is the same brand. It's, oh, weird. coconut. No, oh, coconut, coconut and, and gingerbread. Yeah, oh, wow. We will very much enjoy those. And Honey Stinger Honey Waffle. Hmm. It uh, reminds me, it's round. It reminds it's me a of a Stroop Waffle. Yeah. Thank you so much, Morgan and Chris. That was so nice of you to, to send us that for no reason for Christmas and a New Year and for the new baby and everything. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Um, um, so I will catch you all later. It's 10 o'clock on Friday and I just posted a video to Instagram and I will come out here later and show you how it's looking, but these are the roads right now. It's about 20 minutes after one now and uh, as you can tell I'm upstairs, but I wanted to uh, show you the view. This, uh, this video is going to have a lot of weather related um, footage just because there's nothing going on here. Uh, we're stuck in the house. Uh, there will not be a haul video that goes up on Monday because there won't be a haul. There won't be a food haul. We won't be going out to the store this weekend. Uh, when it gets like this, you see a lot, you know, there's a lot of people that will, that have to go out and they go out. We don't have to go out. Um, you know, Kevin and Ashley are here and um, we're in the house together and we'll watch movies and play games and things like that. But since, uh, since we don't have to go out, we don't. And so there won't be a food hall. So uh, it'll be a first time that there won't be one on a Monday for a while. <laughs> but the birds are enjoying that tree across the street. And um, the cat, the cat's here with me. I'm standing on top of this chair and uh, he's enjoying watching the snow fall. But you can see that side street over there. We live on like a main road, so like this is really good, but over there is the side street and you can tell the difference. Okay, Kevin's going outside. It's still snowing, but <laughs> you you ought to close your coat. Oh, is it right here? <laughs> it's as high as the oh wow, good grief. But we have to clear off a place for Guido to go poop. Oh my. We have to clear off a place for Guido to go poop or he won't go poop. He hasn't been out all day today. Uh, usually when it snows, this is gonna sound gross, but usually when it snows, he poops on, on the back porch. Of course, it, yeah, we try not to encourage that, but it's usually on top of the snow and not actually on the boards. So when we clean it, we get it, we clean it right off the top of the snow. 
but I don't think Kevin's going to be able to scrape all the way down the steps to where he can actually do that. So I think he's going to have no choice but to go on the porch. I'm gonna scrape down the steps. You're going to scrape down the steps? He said he's going to scrape down the steps. It's a loose powdery snow. It's still coming down out there. So we watched a movie today. Um, we watched a movie uh, called uh, War Room. Ashley wanted us to see it, so we had never seen that before. And it's about uh, these two people, um, this married, these two people, this married couple, and uh, their marriage is basically on the rocks, and uh, the wife uh, wants to do what she can to save it before it's too late. So that's what it's about, and it was a good movie. It was two hours. So, uh, so it was a long movie, but, but, uh, I know they've shown it in a lot of churches, so a lot of you all have probably seen it. Um, I was going to tell you it's clean. <laughs> there's nothing, uh, there's, uh, I guess adult situations, but there's nothing, no violence or nudity or bad language or anything like that in it. So it was really good. A uh, good movie to watch when you're cooped up in the house, so I don't know what else we're going to get up to. But my sister called me, and she, her husband uh, has a big truck, and so they've actually been out in this weather. She said, we had to go to the store, so they've been out in this weather, driving around. I said, you probably, probably could have gotten some really good video, but she doesn't film anything like I do. She doesn't she's not the picture taker and the video maker and all that like i am and she even has an instagram account and she never uses it i said jennifer you can film 15 seconds on that um on instagram and post it and everybody would see it uh but she just she doesn't think of stuff like that but it would have been really fun to see because she said like um she said arby's is closed and i think she said sonic I don't know. Maybe Sonic was closed. I don't ever eat there, so I don't... Um, I'm not sure if she said Sonic or Rallies. Maybe both. I don't know. But anyway, she said a lot of places like that were closed. So, oh, she said Captain D's was closed. They went to Rural King. And we've only been there one time, but... I think they went there in Kroger or something like that. But anyway, the pug is wanting outside, so I'm going to let him out. We'll see what happens. Uh, you want to go pee-pee? Come on, come on, you wanna go out? Come on, come on, come on, let's go outside, come on, let's go. Yep, you can go out there. Come on, look, come on. So here's the backyard. Oh, there's Guido, you can see him. You can see where Kevin cleaned off a little piece, a little patch for him and he's gonna be right there too. But Guido does not like the snow. My aunt called me last night and she was like, well, what does Guido think of the snow? Well, Guido does not think much of the snow. Guido is very smart and he, um, he goes out three times a day in the morning and at night. And then once midday, um, about five o'clock, he uses the, he does his business. You know what I mean? And, um, and that's it. He, uh, he likes, he doesn't even like to get off the bed. Okay, he's going to go right there, right now. He said, this is grass. I like the grass. I can go. So he'll start going around and up. We don't want to watch Pug Poop. So, <laughs> so here's how it looks out back. And I'll show you out front, actually. So here's how it looks out front right now. And, uh, yeah, I think my sister was nuts for getting out in this, but, but uh, she liked it. She, uh, she had an adventure, got her out of the house for a little while. It looks really, really pretty as long as you don't have to get out in it. That's what I always say. And they've put a new, uh, electric pole right here. This one's new. This one has been there forever. And I don't know what's wrong with that one, but they put this new one in like yesterday and we don't understand it but that's that's what they did 
So Kevin's gone out front to sweep off the porch. Because even though it's still snowing, Kevin feels like he can keep it. If he goes ahead and gets as much off as he can now that it's more manageable than if it snows a lot more and he has to do it all at one time. This is just what blew on the porch. I know. I think you're crazy for going down there. And he said the mailman came today. You said the mailman came, didn't you? Yeah. So, this is what we're having. Pizza party Friday night. So here it is. It is the Bessie's Revenge, and we had this exact same thing last Friday night. Kevin's still out shoveling snow, and it's starting to get dark, so hopefully he'll be in soon. But I'm going to put this in the oven, and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out in case you missed the vlog from last week, because pizza is a beautiful thing. Okay, here's the finished pizza. I don't think I left it in as long as Kevin did last week, but it still looks really, really good. So we're gonna go pick out something to watch and uh, sit down with this. Kevin's in. He's worn out. <laughs> still didn't finish the end of the driveway. No, but they and the guy actually delivered the mail, so I'm just shocked. Yeah. It is Saturday afternoon and the roads are completely clear which shocks me, but you can see over there on that side street, it is not clear. And I will take you upstairs in a minute and we'll look at the side street. We'll look at it from up there. It looks like the man over there, uh, he's getting his snowblower out. Wouldn't hurt to be friends with him, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, Kevin is going to clear us a path, I guess. Clear the mailman a path, poor mailman. The mailman deserves a bonus for getting out in this. But, um, yeah, this is the easiest way to clear off the porch. Um, I think Kevin worries about it staying on the porch because of the wood uh, being damp and all that, that it's probably not good for your wood to, uh, to stay wet like that. So uh, he'll go down there and clear off the snow, and I'll show it to you when he's finished. It's probably good for him. He's burning calories. So now I'll take you upstairs and show you how it looks. And see that side street is still completely covered. So that's probably what most streets in the county look like is that one over there. Uh, but this one that we live on is a, um, is a major highway. And so they have to keep it cleared because it's a state highway. So, so that'll explain to you why ours is so clear. But I guarantee you most neighborhoods look like that over there. And down here, this is, oh, there's Kevin right there. Yeah, you can see what Kevin is dealing with. And I told him, I said, it's a shame that you have to um, go around each car because then once you start cleaning the cars off, it's going to fall right where you just cleaned. And he said, yeah, but at least it won't be so deep. So I think where he's going to have trouble is if he tries to get at the end of the driveway because um, all that, <laughs> all that is, gets pretty packed in. From the traffic okay it's been a I don't know how long it's been honestly because I haven't looked at the time but here's Kevin he's uh, cleaning off the car I think you can see him better from this way he's cleaned off uh, the whole end of the driveway which is great because it was really bad as you saw earlier and he's cleaned off the uh, the sidewalk and that's Ashley's car that he's cleaned off now, so she won't have to do it. She'll have to, um, she'll have to give him a big thank you, because when he's finished with that, you can see where it goes. It goes right back on the ground, and he'll have to shovel all that. And he hasn't even started on his own car yet. 
Well, another week has gone by, so it's time to wrap things up. Um, you may have noticed, probably haven't, that I actually have eyebrows. <laughs> That's because, yes, <laughs> Kevin hasn't noticed. Kevin looked over at me. He's over here on his computer. He looked over at me like, she has eyebrows. I never noticed. Um, <laughs> um, Ashley saw me yesterday in the um, bathroom using my eyeliner pencil to put on eyebrows, and she said, That's not how you do it at all. Um, and I said, why not? And she said, well, number one, it's, it's black, a black eyeliner pencil. And I said, well, what's wrong with that? I said, uh, I watched somebody on YouTube and she has very, very blonde hair and black eyebrows. And she said, yes, but she's a bottle blonde. You're not a bottle blonde. You have brown hair. She said, do you want people to think you dye your hair when you don't? No, I don't. I mean, if I did, I would admit to it, but I, I haven't, I don't dye it. And, um, so anyway, she gave me some tips. She gave me, um, like four different products to use just for my eyebrows. So I did them by myself for the first time today. So hopefully I feel like one is darker than the other one, but I just went with it. It's like I spent more time on my eyebrows than I spent on the rest of my face. So I want to get out of here at some point. So I'm just going with it. So anyway, and also, uh, um, I put, I did not put eyeliner under my eyes. I put it on the top of my eyes. She said, you know, you, she said, you need to stop wearing the eyeliner on the bottom and wear it on the top. So I did that too. So I don't know if that helps at all, um, but I just did it. So, um, it might just be a new thing that I start doing from now on. We'll see. It's kind of hard, um, the pencil that I use, it's not like, like Ashley uses one and it's like a liquid liner, but it's really, really dark black. And I feel like I would really mess up if I use that. I'm used to using, mine's more like a crayon and you have to like push, uh, or a color pencil, color pencil's better. Mine's like a color pencil and you really have to push it down and you have to go back and forth like that uh, to get it to work. So, but I feel like, I don't know. I'm just used to it. That's what I've used since I was probably 15 years old and I've never switched. So, um, I have a hard time, uh, just switching to new things because I just, I don't spend a lot of time on my face. I just kind of do it and go. I really don't pay attention to areas or anything like that. But, uh, someone had commented in a video a while back that, you know, you really need to have some eyebrows. And, um, I started looking every day. I would look in the mirror. It's been like a month ago, but every day I would look in the mirror and I would think, you know, she's right. I really don't have any eyebrows. And it really does define your face to have some eyebrows. So I'm changing, but, um, anyway, enough about my face. Uh, last night we watched Hotel Transylvania. Uh, Ashley and I had seen it before. It's such a cute movie. If you have kids, grandkids, whatever, and you have not seen this movie, you need to watch it. It is so much fun. Uh, and there is a Hotel Transylvania 2. Uh, I, I've never seen that. I th I'm thinking Ashley went to the theater to see it. I'm pretty sure she did. Uh, but we haven't seen it yet. And, uh, so I would like to see that movie next. But, um, Anyway, I'm going to give you the weekend wrap up. These are, Ashley gave me um, a, a big clear vase for Christmas filled with quotes and inspirational sayings and uh, things that she found that might be interesting. And I pull one out every single day. So these are the ones that I have pulled out for this week. Do everything that you can to be helpful. Only then will you know love. One. Stars cannot shine without darkness, which is kind of bleak, but I get it. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord, and keep watch over the door of my lips. Uh, Psalm 141.3. Um, isn't that the truth? Um, I've, I've gotten a lot better of guarding what comes out of my mouth. Um, a lot better. Uh, the older I've gotten and I feel like the smarter I've gotten um, that you just don't say everything that comes into your head all the time. And and something that a friend of mine said, um, she wasn't saying it pertaining to me. She was saying it pertaining to, to someone else, but it stuck with me too. She said, 
it wouldn't be beneficial. Um, she was talking about that her, her dad really doesn't like her husband. And she doesn't want to tell her husband that her dad really doesn't like him because they're married. They've been married for years. And she said, and it wouldn't be beneficial. What would it help for him to know that my dad really doesn't care for him? So I try to think, um, you know, would that be beneficial? And then I feel guilty a lot of times because I say things and, and I think that that wasn't helpful at all. Now, that doesn't mean to my family. I, I feel like you have to have someone to talk to. And so I'm very, very open with Kevin and um, Ashley lives here. So I'm very open with her. You know, if, if Andrew were to live in the house with me, I would be very open to Andrew. Um, but I'm very open with the people who live in the house uh, with opinions like uh, political issues or um, what other issues, religious issues, things like that. I just don't go spouting them off. You know, it's just, anyway. Um, it's the next one says your beliefs don't make you a better person. Your behavior does. I completely agree with that. Um, you know, you can believe in everything. You can believe, um, in the Bible through and through from start to finish or whatever belief you have. But if you don't behave, um, like it tells you to behave, then that's, that's where it gets you. Uh, the Lord is your God. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. Um, so that was a Bible verse. Uh, you have everything you need inside you. The key is living honestly. And the last one says, are you a bridge or a barrier? And I guess that just depends on what you're talking about. Because I think sometimes I want to be a bridge, and sometimes I want to be a barrier. I think she was probably talking about religious, um, uh, and with religion, am I a bridge or a barrier? But I think depending on where you use that quote, you know, it's, uh, you can use that different ways to your advantage. So, Anyway, those were all my quotes from the week, and it is only, it's only 3 o'clock on Saturday, but I've been ending my vlogs early on Saturday, and then next week, uh, if anything happened later today, then I will put it for next week's vlog. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing much. It's going to be very low-key. Kevin has started up a game. He's going to play, and, uh, I'm going to um, just sit here at uh, the computer. I might watch a movie or something like that later. I don't know. I might catch up on some vlogs because I haven't watched Sakoni Jellies in a couple days. So, I might catch up on that. Um, I thoroughly enjoy watching them. They're always... Um, it's always nice to watch them and see what they're doing. So anyway, that's it for this week. I'm so sorry that there wasn't a lot going on that we didn't get out a lot. It was just a lot of weather, I feel like. Um, and once again, there will not be a grocery haul that will be up um, on Monday. I'm sure you've already seen that because normally the grocery haul would go up at 5.30 or, or 6 before this vlog. Uh, so there will not be one just because we didn't get out and go shopping this week because of the weather. So, but I hope you all are safe and happy wherever you are at and warm and uh, I'll see you next week.